Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Brown, your Carrick Train Concussion Doctor and Board Certified Chiropractic Neurologist. Today I am going to talk about occipital neuralgia because I get quite a few calls and patients that have been diagnosed with this that have debilitating headaches. So what is occipital neuralgia? It is typically, technically it is irritation of the greater occipital nerve in the back of the head and the pain can radiate all around creating a headache. Most commonly, I actually see a trigger point in the suboccipital musculature back here that will refer up. And I want to identify, is it a true problem with the nerve? Is the nerve actually irritated because the muscle is overworking, creates too much metabolism, and then the nerve doesn't slide and get irritated? Is it a trigger point just in the muscle? We have to identify what's going on. And know that muscle does not fire on its own. It doesn't just contract. It does exactly what the brain tells it, and it's a very good soldier, follows the rules directly. If you have a mismatch of information, for example, your eyes, if I tilt my head this way, the eyes don't want to stay here, they want to get flat. So they will do this writing response where they'll get correct here. And what happens is the little muscle on this side is gonna work really hard to do this. And if you do that for a sustained period of time, you are now making these suboccipital muscles that are really just spurt and directional. You're now turning them into a strength muscle and they don't like it and it can create trigger points. So we want to identify what's going on with the patient. Typically, I see a mismatch in the visual system or the vestibular system. So if I go back to this example, if I tilt my head here, the eyes should go like this to adapt. But what can happen is they don't do anything or just one eye doesn't do something or the other eye doesn't do something. You have to identify what has caused it. I've had people who have had concussions that were not identified and they had a vestibular issue and the brain just adapted inappropriately and now a muscle is overworked creating a headache. I've had a few that have had infection in the ear creating vestibular neuronitis so that there's inflammation to the nerve of the vestibular system. It can be one side, both sides, but it can be more permanent and there's something I can't really do about it. And our job is to try to identify it, try to simulate it. If we can't get it happy, then we, we help the brain continue to adapt to that misinformation, which leads me to therapy. So visual training, vestibular training, maybe adjustments, maybe a combination of all of those. It's about identifying the problem for the particular patient. None of mine have been the same. And two, if I can't make a difference to help this patient, then we go to the next level where we look at injections and things that are out of my scope of practice and refer them out to a different type of provider. If you have any questions, email is in my website link below and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks.